It made me think that, uh, well, probably any good creative writing program uh, is, is focused on the idea of lineage, that this thing that we do, uh, one, it takes, it takes a personal touch. It takes that moment when, as a young know-nothing, you show up somewhere and there's some older writers who uh, take you seriously and treat you with affection and kind of sanction your, uh, you know, this kind of new vision that you have for yourself. Uh, and then the beautiful thing about teaching in Syracuse, and I'm sure teaching in any good program, is that then you get to pass it on to the next generation. And you get to sort of endlessly uh, enact that, that beautiful uh, act of getting a gift and then passing it on. And I actually learned this from uh, my teacher, Tobias Wolfman, uh, the wonderful uh, Douglas Unger who's here somewhere. And uh, it's just, you know, it, it's funny, you go to these programs thinking, I want to publish a fucking book. <laughs> So uh, that was, a, I think, for all of us, a, a great blessing of our life to be associated with the program. Some of us as students and now as teachers. So uh, yeah. So anyway, that, that's what I, what I uh, love about the series. So now I just realized I'm going to read a, a, a funeral scene. So apologies, I didn't plan it. Uh, but this is a, a scene from this new book, and it's just a, a set piece, and it's uh, in the form of a diary entry. So it's a little truncated and sort of sort of minimalistic, but. Um, yeah, there's nothing to know about it. Okay, uh, September 30th. Sorry for silence. Crazy thing happened this week. Monday, Todd Grasberger died. Future readers know Todd. Have I mentioned? Probably have not mentioned. Todd, not close friend, just work colleague. Todd and I had a running joke. Ari, I had never returned Firewire I had borrowed. In fact, it was company Firewire, not his. He knew. I knew he knew. It was just our joke. <laughs> they started off fine. Beautiful Indian summer day. Fire drill in the morning. Whole complex emptied into outdoor courtyard. Day so beautiful, no one minded. Everyone lounging on burns. Used urging caution. Fun to see people of different companies, like seeing members of different tribes. <laughs> Navro max equal nerves. <laughs> Calculating temperature needed to destroy by fire entire complex. <laughs> Large people design firm. Has many hippies. Prettiest girls. <laughs> many Lourdes folks lying on backs on burns. Looking up at clouds. One guy playing small wood flute. <laughs> <laughs> when all clear sounded, everyone booed. All files sadly back inside. Then at two, word rippled through office. Todd dead. And heart attack, and dry cleaner, just now, during lunch. All afternoon, no one working, everyone stunned, milling around, trying to process back that Todd equals dead. <laughs> Under Todd's desk, a pair of hiking boots. Against one wall, walking stick Todd used to take on lunchtime walks in woods. Weird sun shower around three. Linda Murphy, it's like a final goodbye from Todd. <laughs> Linda, equal nut. <laughs> One claimed Crow on ledge was reincarnation of her dead husband. Said she could tell by the way Crow's head was cocked disapprovingly at large lunch she was eating. <laughs> then storm over, parking the lot, listening. All evening, found myself looking afresh at Pam, the kids. Everything suddenly precious. Said prayer before dinner. Do not usually pray before dinner. But tonight, held hands, prayed. Prayed we would be grateful for our good fortune, grateful for each other. Prayed we would remember that various ups downs we may experience as family equal small bumps in the road compared with this. Prayed for Todd. Prayed for Todd's family. Just nights ago, Todd was in his own house doing whatever Todd did at night, taking change out of pockets. Having laughed with kids, petting dog, thinking of future, tossing dirty clothes in hamper. Where is Todd tonight? October 1st. Todd, Grassburger funeral today at Ukrainian Church downtown. Todd apparently from humble roots. <laughs> Priest people, long haired guy in Kazakh. Seems chance, whole service, in Ukrainian, from memory. 
as he chants paces, cast our rope swings. Scary guy. <laughs> Very intense. Sermon. Why this surprising? Did you think you were going to live forever? <laughs> Only difference between you sitting there anticipating the rest of your day and Todd in coffin, bound for eternal home in cold earth, is heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that, people? In your chest? That is thin line between you and grave. So why do you live like you are eternal? That foolish. You are fools. <laughs> Shall we wake up? Shall we? Everyone's staring big eyes at the priest, except usual congregants who seem to have heard all before. <laughs> <laughs> the priest goes on. Which of us will die tonight? <laughs> Do we think he's being facetious? <laughs> that shows we are dopes. <laughs> Any one of us could die tonight. Die right now. Suddenly come up short of breath. Heal over and pew. He went hot in earth. He went alive. <laughs> Suddenly, from downstairs kitchen, smell of roast beef. <laughs> Happy chatter from church ladies down in the kitchen. Smell of roast beef plus sound of pots clanking, plates being set out, equal appealing. <laughs> People shifting in pews due to amazing smell of beef. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, come left her and make tributes. Older brother, Todd, sweet, Todd, funny, Todd, a powerful force in his life. We'll never forget one that was Todd. Younger brother, yes, Todd, super strong person. Todd equal bull. Although Todd could be somewhat firm, Todd did younger brother much good in long run <laughs> by teaching him how to stand up for himself. <laughs> that is to say, having been pushed around by Todd. <laughs> Throughout entire childhood, <laughs> nothing can now phase younger brother. <laughs> I mean, no bully in outside world will ever be equal of Todd. But I'm not so great. Todd the best. Todd's so smart, so good looking. No wonder Todd's mom thought his dad always treated him, younger brother, like afterthought. <laughs> but Todd's so caring. So perceptive. Todd understood this. Could sometimes console younger brother by saying that he, younger brother, was perfectly fine. <laughs> Often just before breaking cat they made Ari Wednesday night being younger brother's night to borrow dad's car, thereby ruining younger brother's chance to see girl he really liked. Possible love of life. The girl he had to lost with the old from Selden. Though his own older brother apparently more inclined than Todd to give his younger brother a decent shot at family car. <laughs> Todd's younger brother, breathless, pauses his left turn, can't seem to stop self. Plunges ahead. <laughs> but Todd, great. Todd's so great. <laughs> Todd will surely be missed. Todd taught everyone in family an important lesson. Although a person might be strong, bellicose, ambitious, slightly blind to needs of others, <laughs> so, that does not mean person not greatest, most amazing brother ever. <laughs> Who occasionally, just despite self, might suddenly, surprising all, do some reasonably thoughtful thing. <laughs> Younger brother, seemingly perplexed by own tribute. Then led away from Lecter by scowling older brother. <laughs> Todd's widow approaches Lecter. Can't seem to speak. Three little girls clinging to her skirt. Widow hands microphones to smallest girl. Smallest girl. Bye, Daddy. Lunch good. Lunch beyond good. Funeral so sad. Lunch equal heaven. <laughs> Eat three roast beef sandwiches in a row on paper plate. Outside, yellow tree blowing in wind. Single yellow leaf blows in through open basement window. Watch it come down, land in my shoe. Think, life, beautiful. So glad I'm not dead. <laughs> if when I die, do not want Pam lonely. Want her to be married, have full life. As long as your husband is a nice guy. Gentle guy. Religious guy. Very caring plus good to kids. But kids not fools. <laughs> <laughs> kids prefer dead dad, I mean me, <laughs> to religious guy. <laughs> Male, boring, religious guy. With no oomph. <laughs> wears weird sweaters and is always a little sad. He's a tonic boner. <laughs> Why were we put here so 
inclined to love when end of our story equal death. That harsh, that cruel, do not like. Note to self, try harder in all things to be a better person. Thank you.